Yo, what is going on guys, your boy Sock here, and today I'm here with my week 4 NBA team builder against Spanik at the Disco and his, uh, his Alabama Crimson Surf. His team does consist of Skarmory, Volcarona, Kurum, who is a Z Mon, Donvan, Raikou, which is his other Z offensive Mon, Mega Deancey, Miltank, Alolan Persian, which is his Z Super Mon. So again, that can use any Z move it wants to, whether it's offensive or status, so Z Parting Shot is very much a thing. For Alligator and Grumpig. So I did build this team of six in order to kind of try to beat his team as much as I could and to try to win. So first up here, I do have Reuniclus, AKA Hard Body. Um, I do have Trick Room, Shadow Ball, Psychic, and Signal Beam, which is good coverage against this team because if I do get a Trick Room up after say Volcarona gets on or something, I am able to get through and I'm able to kind of wreck house for a little bit, putting some pressure on his team to try to wear out my Trick Room and just absolutely decimate. Next up, I do have my designated Volcarona Switchin, aka Teich, Deancey, with leftovers, Stealth Rock, Heal Bell, Smackdown, and Earth Power. You're going to be wondering why I'm running a physical Smackdown and uh, special Earth Power. Well, Smackdown, with this, uh, with just neutral at this, does, I think it was 90% minimum to a Volcarona. So if I can get any prior damage off on it at all, it's thing, uh, Deancey will kill it with just a Smackdown, which is 50 base power, which I think is pretty funny. Uh, Earth Power is in case I do Smackdown the Skarmory on switching, I can Earth Power that and get some nice damage off. Heal Ball is kind of a general cleric in case anything has a status I don't want on it, and Stealth Rock, so it's going to be my Stealth Rocker. Like I said, this is my designated switch-in for Volcarona, which I am fearing a lot, because it kind of puts a dent through my team. Next up, I do have my Gliscor, who is going to be rocking the, uh, who's rocking our Z move for this game, Z Hone Claws, which raises my attack by two, and it raises my accuracy by one. So I can almost never miss my Fire Fang. Uh, Earthquake and X's will also come off a heck of a lot stronger. Um, with this, I am going to be able to absolutely decimate through his team. It's going to be a nice win condition because the combination of Earthquake, Fire Fang, and X's are really decimate his team. So I think having this around late game, if I can get a Z Home Claws off and I live. Uh, also, with this uh, EV spread, I also outspeed a max speed for Alligator with this by two points because he only hits 280. I hit 282, as you can see here. So that's Gliscor, kind of the big win con this game. Coming again this week is Ash Greninja, a.k.a. Ice Studying. Choice Scarf, like usual. But we're running a physical set this week. As I actually, I'm going to dump some EVs into... Oh, what was I going to dump it into? I think I was dumping it into HP, just for a little bit of bulk. Uh, let's make it a nice odd 347. I'm going to make it 60, that way we can guarantee. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Awesome. So we are running Greninja with Waterfall, Night Slash, Facade, and U-Turn. Waterfall uh, at Choice Scarf, before it even does anything, the Choice Scarf allows it to outspeed Scarf Raikou, which is the fastest member on the team before Deancey Mega Evolves. So that's very good. Uh, Waterfall's good stab, Night Slash, on the other hand, is good stab for things like Grump Pig that might want to take the hit. Uh, facade is in case uh, Flame Body burns me from the Volcaron or decides to Toxic me or anything, and U-Turns for nice initiative that I always love to have. Next up, I do have Neha Lego. This Neha Lego is probably one of the most heat sets I've built in a long time. As you guys can see here, I am running Power Gem, Clear Smog, Sub, and the big move this week is Power Split. It averages attack and special attack with my opponent. Therefore, if he gets in with Gator, I can Power Split on him, so it averages his attack after a D-Dance or Sword Dance and my attack, which is 99. So it'll drag his attack way down there and raise mine up. That way it's not able to absolutely decimate through my team. So hopefully Nihilego can put in some work. And if it can, it'll be really, really cool. Because this is my one of my best buddies on the entire uh, NBA and a lot of other leagues. We play in actually all four leagues I'm in. He also plays in. So yeah, uh, that's Nihilego. And last but certainly not least, we have Infernape. This is actually my assistant coach Sped Shed's idea. Make sure to check him out below. His Twitter will be linked. Uh, we are running a Light Ball Fling, Grass Knot, Close Combat, and Flare Blitz. Uh, running enough speed to outspeed Volcarona before it uh, gets up to plus one with Squiver Dance. Dumping max uh, physical attack and 64 in special attack with the leftovers. Uh, fling Light Ball paralyzes whatever it hits. Grass Knot decimates through a lot of his team, including uh, 
Don Fan that hits really hard. Close Combat's good stab, and Flare Blitz is another good stab because his fire resist really isn't that good besides Don Fan, and that thing drops to a Grass Don. So Inferno is a very nice spawn. I think put a dent through his team, it'll be kind of a mid ground play. So yeah, that's kind of the team I'm bringing this week for week four of the NBA. Make sure to check out Spanik at the Disco, as he will be linked in the description. He is one of my favorite people in this entire league, so be sure to check him out. He is an amazing dude. He does a lot of commentaries, especially he's actually in a league with Six Foot Hacks, uh, UCL Season 2 champion. So be sure to check that out. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for this week, guys. I'm out. Deuces.